Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. I am Lutra FM, as always, and I am your host. We are on episode 20 now of the Socio Challenge, Youth Only Challenge, sorry. And we started the new season. We played four games. We lost two and won two. You know, it, it's been okay, average so far. But hopefully, we can start doing, start getting some, hitting some form and start doing better. We've picked up a few injuries in between the last episode and now. Star's out for four or five weeks. There's somebody else, and I can't remember now who it is, but yeah, and DaCosta's gone. He's, I think, Livingston bought him. So yeah, so Fresh Blood hopefully will be put into the first team and see if they can sink or swim. We'll just see how it goes in the next couple of games. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute with the first game of the episode. Right, so here we are. As I said, we've played four games, won two and lost two. We've got six points and we're eighth in the league. Bazaar, Diagne and Weisbeck should be back in the first team and the silver. But yeah, we'll just, just see what the assistant manager wants to do. So yeah, so Galvez is right back. Diagne and Bossy in centre defence. Bastian's left back. Drame and Tete in midfield. As we know we don't have Viltard this season. So I think Tete will probably end up being the first team midfield partnership with Drame. Beck's back in the team. Bazaar's back in the team. And then we've got Kofi and Vaz up front. Uh, let's see how we get on today. We are playing Gun. Gun. I'll probably not pronounce that right. But I'm pronouncing it how I see it. Gun. Gamp. Sorry. Gun. Gamp. First highlight goes to us. Still trying to find a social home shirt that's not relatively expensive in my size. But... I've, I've literally emailed about 20 different mystery football shirt places and they don't have any. So if anybody knows of anybody that sells them type of shirts, please let me know in the comment section. I would really appreciate it because I would like to wear, like I did with the Rafe Rover safe, I would like to wear a Socio shirt every episode. So yeah, but yeah, just please, if you know, let me know in the comment section. It would be much appreciated. And as always, thank you to everyone who's been following and watching, sorry, and liking the videos, subscribing and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I hope the people who are watching it are enjoying it for what it is. Because I'm enjoying it because I don't I, I don't particularly like doing saves where I'm buying Wonder Kid after Wonder Kid. It gets boring after a while. I, I'd rather just create my own in the use, from the youth system. Oh, God, that was a terrible pass, Bossy. Oh, good defending. Come on. Thank you. Whew. Getting worried then. Right. Uh, nearly up to half time at nil nil. Will this be our first draw of the season? We'll see. Bastion with the throw in gets it back, crosses in. Beautiful cross. Great goal by Vaz. I was expecting that to be Kofi because Kofi, most of Kofi's goals are headers, but yeah, well done, Vaz. 1 0 to us before half time. I see with a, a decent attempt there. Right, 1 0 up. That's not playing well. Let's try and encourage him a bit. Hopefully, that'll help. Try and be gentle with him because every time. So it's not playing well as I, as well. Every time I try and say like demand more, it just makes them it just affects their average rating even worse. Their match rating, sorry, even worse. Right, Weisbeck, you're not getting any better, so we're just gonna have to take you off, mate. Carl's empty, and we've got Tete who's knackered. I can't really put anybody in, I'll put Grill on. We have to take Drammy off as well, so right. Bizarre. Oh, Galvez is injured. Can't take any more players off, so we just gotta grind grind through the storm. Yeah, I think. I think this might end up just staying one nil. Hopefully, I always sound. I always feel like I've got like loads of gravel in my voice. I don't know why. The flat I live in, unfortunately, has quite a bit of mould. Not what you want to hear on a when you're watching a video, but it is what it is. So I think it's being here for the last couple of years. I think it's caused a lot of phlegm in my throat and stuff like that. So I think maybe that's what's making my throat sound like this. So, but moving into my girlfriend's house, a couple of weeks time. And at the start of June, she doesn't have mould. She's got a nice house with central heating that actually works. The central heating I have, it's a storage heater that takes 24 hours to heat up. And it doesn't really produce much and it's rubbish. And it's not very good at deterring the mould. I obviously clean the mould off. But it can only, me cleaning it off can only do so much. So it doesn't really stop the issues. So yeah, it's a terrible building to live in. It's not just me. Everybody in this building I live in has this issue. Right, anyway, on that dreary note, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode right we're back for part two we're now playing grenoble don't think there's much change in the lineup i think the lineup's the same tete and drama have changed roles but that's about it really yeah same team as last game so that makes it nice and easy hopefully we will get another win get towards here we want to be in this but we want to be in these positions at all times this season i do think we've got a good chance of getting promoted this season then god knows what's going to happen from there i don't fancy our chances in league and i don't think we're strong enough i think we might end up get relegated but I'm I know we definitely got a decent enough team to not be in this division run at the moment. I know we should be in 
division above. It's kind of like the West Brom situation. You're too good for the Championship, but not good enough for the Premiership. And that's the problem a lot of teams have. That's outside the box. It's not a penalty. I'll be really angry if that's what I was going to say. Oh, I'm still not happy they scored, though. I'm just glad it's not a penalty. It wasn't a penalty because that would have really annoyed me. Right outside the box, that was. FM is pretty good for VAR. It's a lot better than normal VAR. Real life VAR. FM seems to be a lot better at getting the decisions right. We've had zero shot. Oh, we've had one shot now. Oh, cock up there. We might be able to take advantage of this. Come on, that's definitely a penalty. Yes, get in. Right, Kofi, you missed your last one. So make sure you score this one. Yes, go on, never in doubt. Go on, Kofi. 1-1. One, one. We've managed to turn things around for conceding, which is good. Now, hopefully, we can go on and win this game now. Good interception there by Vaz. Back now. Has his first pass block, but gets another chance. And goal! Get in, Pazar. 2-1. That's more like it, lads. I feel like already this team is a year better. So I feel like the the youngsters are... A little, I mean, the players that we've got are now better because they've had a, a year more experience. So I do think we're going to do well this season. But we'll see. I'll say this, and then they'll, they'll probably win 3-2, and I'll give up all hope again. Oh, no, I forgot they got low. Oh, he's so bloody good. Annoyingly good in this game. He scores so many goals against me. If I could actually buy players, I would actually buy him just to stop him from flipping scoring against me. Right, we can't. We gotta stay positive. Another highlight to us: Galvez bombs bombs it forward on the right side of the pitch, gives it to Drame. Back to Galvez. Galvez with the cross. Kofi, come on! I expect better from you, mate. Right, Drame's knackered. Akron for him. Oh God! Anybody who watches the soaps? I know that that, that that my audience probably doesn't watch British British soaps, but. Jesus Christ, it's depressing at the moment on the soaps. You've got one storyline with uh, Paul Yulandi getting something happening, violated, we'll say, by the, by the local pastor, the local vicar, whatever they call them. And then Emmerdale, you got that terrible domestic violence storyline with Belle and Tom. And, oh, God, it's so depressing. I know the reason why they do it, because they want to bring awareness to these issues, but, oh, it's so horrible to watch. Oh, no. Oh, all right. I think I've gone from wanting to win this game to hoping we get a draw. My expectations have been lowered. I hate playing Grenoble simply because they got that Jamal low. He is really good. Right, 2-2. Two, two. I'll take that. Not too bad. At least in this episode, we haven't lost yet. I know I'll probably jinx myself now. Oh, somebody's spotted. Somebody's after... So we've got FC Ruin. Why would Vaz go to you? I'm going to offer him a new contract anyway, just to be on the safe side. But FC Ruin are not even... Where are they? They're in the division below us. Why would he do that? Why would he even go? Right then, I'm going to holiday to the next game. We'll probably... I have to go through the transfer window as well. It's deadline day. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the next match. Right, so we're back now and we are playing Nims next. But yeah, one thing I let, need to let you know is my assistant manager or loan manager during deadline day decided to send Emilian Grillot out on loan, which is really annoying because he's been a decent back for me. Not rated very well on here, two and a half. But did all right when called upon. But yeah, maybe... His future doesn't lie here in the long run. Bossy seems to be the centre-back partnership with Diagne. Even, yeah, he seems pretty good. I had to call up a few players from the youth team and reserve just to bulk up the squad a bit because we've had quite a few injuries, including on the goalkeeper. situation with Dosso, who was my backup goalkeeper, getting injured for about two months. So I've only got literally three goalkeepers across the three squads that I have now which is really really annoying but hopefully we won't get any more injuries to the goalkeepers but yeah but we still got pop out so but we've got this guy here who is highly rated goalkeeper as backup so yeah so the lineup looks pretty much the same as last time it is exactly the same so let's just see how we get on hopefully we can beat Nims or Nims I don't know how you pronounce it anyway. right first highlight goes to them corner headed out by us good little passing going on there but was I'll give them that I wonder if he's any relation to Ibrahim Bar. Probably not. A very common name, Bar. Ibrahim Bar used to play for uh, AC Milan. I was a big AC Milan fan, and so yeah, he was. Ibrahim Bar was one of my favourite players because he was so. Him and George Weah were just so bloody quick. George Weah, one of the greatest strikers ever. Underrated, actually, as a striker. I feel like he doesn't get as much respect as he should for his goal scoring. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. For his goal scoring uh, feats at AC Milan. I know his career tailed off a bit when he left Milan and that, but you know, them them four or five years that he was unstoppable. That that great individual goal he scored from hit from the opposition corner and just ran through the players. One of the greatest goals ever. Right, corner to us, wise back, drives it in straight to the goalkeeper's hands. Looking at the stats, we have been slightly the better team, but they've obviously took their chances more. Hopefully we can get some momentum come our way in a minute. It seems to be all 
mostly nims at the moment with the highlights good save sorry baxter it's all right there's a bloody little gnat flying by me i live uh, in a apartment building and then across across the way across from my window over there there's another apartment building and unfortunately their bins are and their car parks opposite where i live so and they've just got like thousands of gnats just hover around by these bins it's disgusting and some of them seem, seem to decide to come in here into my flat just to chill and wind me up. Anyway, 2-0 down. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this game. But shouty, shouty at my players. You never know. It's slightly worked. We're doing, we've had a few more shots. Would be nice this highlight. There you go. Oh, I was hoping that would turn into one of a highlight for us then. Still, I still live in hope. But yeah, go on. That's it. Go on, Tete. Go on. Oh, good save. Buys back. Floats the cross up. Headed out. Still got possession. Oh, leads to nothing. All right, I'm going to take off a trophy, I think. I shall leave it for a minute. All right, corner to us. Carzenti with the corner. Drives it in. Headed out. Carzenti again. Get in. Go on, Carz. Great impact off the bench. All right. I don't think I've got any strikers. Well, I have, but I think Azonga isn't really 100% fit. But I guess we'll have to put on plus. So we've got a debut for Kunz. We'll have to go here. Do that. All right. Let's see how we get on with this. That's the wrong thing then. Damn it. Probably won't make much difference, but you never know. All right, let's try encouraging. Still got a chance of getting a point out of this game. I'm running out of time though. One more highlight? No. Oh well. We can't win them all. And I obviously jinxed myself after the last game. Weisbeck, I swear he loves getting injured. Let's have a look at his injury history just to put this into perspective. He's had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's had 10 injuries since I've started this save. Only a few weeks here, a few weeks there, but I think I'm probably going to get rid of him because I'm sick of him getting injured. I've got Carl Zenti now who's doing really well. Anyway, back in a sec with the next game. All right, we're back. We're playing for way now. I don't think there's anything changed in the line. Oh, is that Izanga? He's on the right. But other than that, Alpha Tar's up front, so the Tar's back as well, which is good. Gives Vaz a bit of a rest because he has played quite a bit the last couple of the games. Or is he injured? No, he isn't injured. He's on the bench. Right, first highlight goes to us. Corner. Oh, Izanga nearly scored there. Hit the post. Oh, we get it back. Kofi. Look at that. Beautiful bit of passing going on there. Shame he didn't lead to anything. Oh, I thought they were going to score then. Good interception there, Bazaar. Go on. So if Tar across to Drame, who gives it to off. He's up for it in this game, isn't he? Drame. Oh, that was... Or pass in there, Drame. Bright start for Izanga. Or Izanga. I think it's pronounced Izanga, I don't know. Could be wrong. Oh, hit the post again, man. We are getting closer and closer to scoring here. Which now worries me, because I feel like he's going to score now. Mm. They are building up a bit of possession here, which concerns me. Oh, thank God. I don't think Patar's going to play the whole game by the looks of it. So Vaz might be playing. He's, he's going to have to come on for Patar. I don't see the point in that. We shouldn't have played Patar in this game. We'll just let him rest a bit more hopefully he'll be fully fit next game we do miss him we do seem to play better when we've got Fatar in the team he's that he's a i say he's experienced but he's probably only like 24 but relatively experienced in the young team oh great any relation to bobby bobby some more more eh? sorry let's have a look no not by the looks of it i'm not assuming because they've got the same surname they are brothers but i, I was just checking right corner to us can we get back in this game? I feel like we've been unlucky so far hitting the post twice. Get in. Go on, Izanga. First goal of the season for him. He's the one player that I feel like has will, will score in this game, and he has. That deserves some praise. Right, let's try encouraging the players. Let's get back into this game. I feel like we should win this game, to be honest. I think we've been the better team at times. Right, they've got a corner. Nice save. Good save. Well done. You've listened to what I've said. Fair play to you. His rating should have gone up then. Why didn't it go up? It was a great save by him. All right, goalkeeper's coming off. Giving a give again. A Davy. Alves can come off as well. We have not done well in this game. I feel like they're going to win now. Such a shame because I felt like we were turning the momentum here, but we're not. Try and change it up a little bit. Bring these over forward. Play attacking. Hopefully that will help in some way. Can we get a point out of this game? By the looks of it, no. Any last minute highlights? No. Nah. Such a shame. Oh, well, I think my enthusiasm for this season's gone completely down from in this episode. I went from being really positive to now going, oh, it's going to be another one of these mid-table seasons. Anyway, we're back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, so here we are, last game of the episode, and I think we're playing, we're playing, I love saying that, before we go, I think Poire are first. Well, they were first, we're now fifth. They were first for a while. But yeah, this is a lineup for the game. Patricio makes his first... Plays his first game of the season as right back. But other than that, I think Fatal's on the right and Vaz is up front, but pretty much unchanged. Team from last game. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have sent I have tried to offer out Weisbeck. Uh, his days are numbered here. Just too injury prone for my liking. Oh plus it means if Fatal can play on the right, that means that Vaz can play more first team football with Kofi. So it benefits us 
with that as well. Patar with the corner, saved by the keeper. And we seem to be more up for it, but I mean, I know it's the curse of the commentary coming up here and they'll probably score now, but we do seem more up for it. Good cross by them. See, why do I open my big mouth? Oh, no. Hopefully it's offside. No, go hold it. Great. Great. That's just great. Right. Fazard. Who the hell was that to Fazard other than the opposition? Thank God for Drame. Go on, Naz. I feel like this conceded is not deterred us. I feel like we're just more determined to win this game now. Just need to be a bit more clinical with the finishing Kofi. All right. Bastion gives it to Bossy. Better not lose the ball. Gives it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Gives it back to Bossy. Drame now with the ball. We did it to Patricio. Patricio with a beautiful cross. Shame didn't lead to anything. Oh, come on. I thought that was in there. Oh, maybe it's going to be one of them games where we lose 1-0 and we have about like 20 shots on target and none of them go in. Down to 11th now. It's not good. Loses the ball. Great. Get it back though. Drame, I love you, beautiful man. Right, bossy, come on. I don't think it's a matter of if, it's just when we're going to at this rate. Seven, eight shots, one on target, 0.76. They've had one shot, one on target, 0.14, and they've scored. We've been, we're getting FM'd at the moment, and I don't like it. Come on, pace in abundance. Come on, Pra, lose the ball, give us it here. Give it to us, we know what to do with it. Come on. Oh my God, you are joking me. Yeah, we're getting FM'd here, everyone. We are getting F-U-C-K-E-E-D. It's F U C K E D. Sorry, we need to be doing better in this game. We should not be losing this game. We've been all over them. They're actually getting into the game more now, which is great. Kofi, you're coming off. Griffin, come on, Isanga, come on for you. We are playing really bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to definitely change my tactic because this tactic now is just ridiculous. It's just not getting anywhere. Right, I will have a new tactic set up for the next episode. We are going to turn things around. Yeah. We did a fan day as well. Great. I'm just going to do a team meeting because this is not on. Right. On that note, I'm going to leave you to it. And then the start of next episode, I'll through my new tactic. And then we'll hopefully it will turn us around and we'll start winning again. So, yeah. Anyway, as always, I'll just expand this area. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please like the videos. And if you haven't commented on the video, if you feel like you've got something to comment, please give me a comment. Good or bad. Like I said, I learned from it. So, yeah. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be back next week. All the best. Bye.